And now, your first alert five weather. Man, it felt nice out there today. Hope you had a chance to get out and enjoy it. That cold front came through early this morning and kicked up the wind. We had a peak gust in Colorado Springs at 53 miles per hour. Brought in that cool air though. 70 is the current temperature. Light breeze out of the south. Live look from Pueblo. Sunset over the Rockies. 71 degrees right now. The wind is very light now, but that wasn't the case when that cold front rolled in. 58 mile per hour wind in Pueblo caused some damage on the uh, west side of the city. Blew that huge it was dead already, but it blew it onto the house there. Chantel said that it shook some things off the shelves. The home felt that there was an earthquake around it. A lot of volatility with the weather across the eastern plains of Colorado this morning, all due to that strong cold front that blew through. Another one on the way. Here's your next weather maker. Here's what's going to happen around here over the next several days. The storm system still getting its act together thousands of miles away from Colorado, but it's going to dig to the southeast here over the next several days. It'll push in a cold front very early Monday morning. Not a lot of water for that front to work with. We will have a moist upslope flow around here, so a few showers possible, but it is going to bring in much cooler air Monday 15 to 20 degrees cooler than what we'll have on Sunday. It is going to be windy before and after the front and here's why I don't think we're going to see a lot of water with that system. Main energy right there just going to pass a little too far to the north to be a major precip player here across the News 5 viewing area. Northern and Central Mountains will get snow Monday into early Tuesday morning. I think Pikes Peak will get a nice little kiss of snow late Monday into Tuesday and not out of the question to see a few passing showers here across parts of El Paso County, Pueblo County, Fremont County and Teller County as well. For your Saturday, if you're out tomorrow morning, maybe one of those Little League soccer games, football games, 9 a.m. temperatures into the 60s. We'll graduate into the 70s by 11 o'clock in the morning. Beautiful early afternoon. We will heat up nicely, though. Afternoon clouds pushing off the divide here across portions of the I-25 corridor late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Unseasonably cool today, and I haven't said much, uh, haven't said that much here the past couple of months. 78 in Pueblo in the springs, only 75. We should be at 77 this time of the year. Take a look at updated temperatures. You know it's an unusual day when Gunnison is warmer than Colorado Springs and Pueblo. That doesn't happen very often, but overall just gorgeous right now all across southeastern Colorado. Clear skies tonight. You want to check out that full moon tonight, near full moon, I should say. Officially it'll be full on Monday, but it will look close to full tonight. It's the harvest moon this month. Overnight low temperatures, crisp and cool here across southeastern Colorado. Tomorrow hot stuff on the way one more time. If you're going to be outdoors tomorrow, for an extended period of time. Make sure you drink a lot of water so you don't dehydrate. Use that sun sauce because we will have mostly sunny skies for most of the day. In Colorado Springs, it will be unusually hot both Saturday and Sunday. Here comes that storm system, knocks us back dramatically Monday into Tuesday. It will be windy as that storm system rolls across the Rockies. Look at those lows Tuesday and Wednesday morning dropping all the way down to 41 degrees and then we warm right back up from Wednesday all the way through next Friday. Pueblo, if you're tired of the heat, it's going to be a summer bummer this weekend. Red hot 90s both Saturday and Sunday, but hang tough. Couple of days there. Much cooler September air rolls in early next week with a few showers possible Monday evening and your lows Tuesday and Wednesday Day, get the blankets ready, 41 degrees. Canyon City, your last weekend of summer going to be unseasonably hot. You may want to post up close to the river. Don't forget that fishing pole. Cold front's going to bring a pocket of much cooler September air by Monday into Tuesday with a few showers possible late on Monday. And for Woodland Park, unusually warm the next couple of days, but it changes quick this time of the year. You'll drop all the way down to 59 degrees on Tuesday for your high temperature lows around the freezing mark Tuesday and Wednesday morning and a few rain changing to snow showers possible late Monday into Tuesday. Here's Jake.